For the past 30 years, Arizona GOP gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake thrived in the highly competitive world of TV journalism, and then, she says, fake news drove her out of the biz and into politics. She spent two decades in the Phoenix market and became a local celebrity, someone Arizonans trusted to deliver the news of the day. Now, as a front runner for the Republican nomination for governor, Carrie Lake fuels her campaign by railing at fake news and the dishonesty of the industry she once revered. Her metamorphosis began with her reaction to news outlets' coverage of former President Donald Trump, whom she said she secretly supported since 2016. Carrie Lake, who received President Trump's endorsement, said, I thought, what a great candidate to cover, what a great person to get into politics because he's representing the people. But, the people in the media didn't see it that way. They just wanted to tear him apart and destroy the man. She is advocating for President Trump's America First policies and increasing security on the southern border. She is among a new wave of Republican candidates who were energized by President Trump and are now echoing his message and trying to follow the path he blazed through America's political landscape. Gina Woodall, a political science professor at Arizona State University, argues Ms. Lake's background reporting straight news gives her a legitimacy in her tirades against the new industry more so than other pro-Trump candidates making similar accusations. Ms. Woodall said, she can definitely make that argument and say, I was in the media. I know the way that it works. I think, for some voters, that does bring some legitimacy to her, like not only do I kind of talk the talk with disliking the media, but I was actually in the media. The race to replace Republican Governor Doug Ducey, who is ineligible by state law to run for a third term, is crowded. Carrie Lake is vying with several GOP gubernatorial hopefuls, including Arizona Treasurer Kimberly Yee and former United States Representative Matt Salmon. Democrats angling to succeed Mr. Ducey include Secretary of State Katie Hobbs and ex-state Representative Aaron Lieberman, who announced his resignation from the State House last week to focus on his campaign. In the endorsement, President Trump cited Ms. Lake's media background, challenging reporters to contest her candidacy. President Trump said in a statement, She is a fantastic person who spent many years working as a highly respected television anchor and journalist. Because of this, few can take on the fake news media like Carrie. Though a newcomer, Ms. Lake also garnered the interest of members of Arizona's congressional delegation. GOP Representative Paul Gosar, one of President Trump's staunchest allies, said he's known the candidate for a year and expressed confidence in her campaign despite her being a political novice. Mr. Gosar said, she's a good lady. She doesn't have a record because she hasn't held office, but there's a bunch of good people in that race.